After days of heavy rain caused by extensive damage in eastern Kentucky across Appalachia, help is now pouring in from all over the country, including right here in western New York. Liam Healy joins us with more on what's being done. That's right. Nearly 10 inches of rain fell across portions of eastern Kentucky in just three days last week. For some, the cleanup is going to take months, and the return to normalcy, years. For right now, though, the focus is just getting boots on the ground to help out. I spoke with one western New Yorker who's helping to lead that charge. Things are getting worse every time. Every time they hit a storm hit. A little bit worse than the storm they had. Debbie Thompson has been on the ground in Kentucky for a few days, speaking with those in the shelter she is running for the Red Cross. According to her, many were still just recovering from the flooding the area saw just last year. Most of them hadn't recovered yet. Some of them just finished within the last month or two, and everything is gone again. Despite the repeated flooding and devastation, hope is far from diminished. I was talking to a client. Um, and his family had a photo album that got washed away, and somebody found it, and they dried out the pictures and put it on Facebook. And sure enough, it got back to them. And just something small like that, the tears of joy, you know, your memories. Debbie has been an active volunteer for years, seeing countless scenes just like this. For her, the drive is just wanting to help. It's an honor for me to do it. I feel privileged to be able to do that. It's just a good feeling to be able to, to to make them smile. Western New York isn't a stranger to devastating flooding either. 50 years has now passed since the major flood of 72 was caused by Hurricane Agnes. And in many ways, the help that Deb and the rest of the volunteers from Red Cross and Western New York are giving today is simply returning to favor the help that we received then. Reporting in Rochester, Liam Healy. News 8. We see it again and again from that group. Liam, thank you. In the wake of those floods, hundreds of people remain unaccounted for. The death toll stands at 37, but could grow as the water begins to recede and crews make their way into those hard-hit communities.